Hello everybody, my name's Skalukal and today we're playing a bit of Gosha. Now it's come on Steam very recently, um, so I'm going to give it a go, see how we do. I know literally nothing about it, so it should be quite interesting. So, sound has a particular importance in Gosha, especially in certain puzzles. For an optimal experience, sit in a quiet and dark place and put on headphones. Not quite dark, but... Is this a gravestone? I can't see myself. There's no one here. I might... No, this isn't right. God, it, seem, it seems I can still move, in a way. And I can also see things. But I don't feel anything. Stay calm. Something's wrong. Think, Abigail. I know this tree. I'm outside the manor. I just need to think. No, this is wrong. I need to find help. Help. Father. Mother. Annie. I think I write some of her thoughts in her journal. Each time this notebook icon appears, you can see her latest ideas regarding recent events. Perhaps they'll feel some hints about the next girl. No. Boom. I'm Abigail Blackwood, daughter of Abraham and Eleanor, Helena Blackwood, and Annie's sister. To be honest, that's all I remember after the fall and my final scream. I don't really understand what I am or what's happening. I need to find help. I need to find family. Well, chuck you straight in the middle of it, I suppose. Ah, so that goes to the village. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, see, all I know is you play as a ghost. So this is Abigail, who is dead. Otherwise she wouldn't be a ghost. So, what does this say? That's strange. There's a hexagonal shape carved out of the pedestal, as if something had been taken out. I don't think I saw that before. Holding control, you can highlight every noticeable element in the scene. A magnifying glass will appear on every clickable object. Oh, okay. There we are. Cool. Just in case you miss anything, I suppose. The gate is closed and covered in rust. Can I open it? Unless maybe I can go through it. That would be so weird. Having this body and then being able to just go through things and fly and... But it would be terrifying. You know, it would sound great, but it would also be absolutely shit scary. Well, Blackwood Manor, just like in my memories, I was born and died here. I remember this window. That's where I fell. It was cold. Let's have a look at the tree. No leaves on that tree, but we're still in winter, but I don't feel cold. Abigail's progress is laid in real time on the map. The map will show you the rooms you've entered and those that are still out of reach. Be sure to check it regularly. You can also teleport to some rooms directly, supposing that you're not possessing an object. Those will be coloured in yellow. A light? Maybe there's someone in there who can help me. Tab. So, yeah, this is where I am now. So that's the outside courtyard, so I've got all of this to discover. Okay. Let's go then. How do I get in? Going through the gate was easy, but such an obstacle. Yeah, go through it. Boom. Impossible. It's terrifying, but rather handy. It's a lot to look at. These stairs aren't quite as impressive as I remember, they're covered in dust. Some tells me she's been dead a long while. Even this vase wasn't quite as dull looking before. In my, is my mind playing tricks on me? Ivy inside the manor, it's starting to look like a bad dream.
Who could have drawn this map? The names remind me of father's studies. But he would never have taken his documents out of his office. So, I'm here. I'm assuming that's what that circle means. Dining room, office, hall, library. Quick read what that says. Liberius, Conservatory. So these are the names of some people that he knew, I get the impression of. Okay. Each note, journal, book, and post you read is stored in the codex. No need to retrace your steps. Everything's here. C. Right, okay. Oh, that's cool. So there are five stages, and I can just click on them when I want them. That's good. Wallpaper wasn't torn before. Mrs. Wall would never have allowed that. Am I really at the manor? Damaged tableware. The manor seems abandoned. I don't understand. Our grandparents used to hunt deer in the woods on the manor grounds. Good evening. Jack, Rufus, Ted, Molly. <laughs> No, no, I missed something. Go back that way. Oh, I can't get it yet. Okay, well, before I go that way, I'll look up here. Someone's removed her mouth from the painting. Okay. Oh, that's... That's not right. Is that me doing that? I think it is. Everything is so dilapidated. I don't recognise this chair. A small part of grandfather's mineral collection. These sheets have been folded neatly. Someone still cares about these things. This couch seems comfortable enough to have a rest if only I could. A view of the manor of the fog. Something about this painting troubles me, but I can't tell what. Well, it is a bit creepy. To be fair. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Something's written in the margin. Property of Alexander Hod Hodgkin. That name's new home. No, that name's new to me. Father's office. His safe haven. The place where he did all of his experiments. Esot esoteric and uh, or otherwise. I like this place. If father's up the manor, this is where I'll find him. But can people see me? I won't be able to talk to him. And what will he do if he somehow recognises me? Everything's so inconsistent. Different, but so similar. Maybe I should find more hints about what's going on before I see him. Doesn't look like any of the clocks in the manor are working, but I'm not particularly worried about that right now. Alice in Wonderland. What's this doing in Mother's Library? There's a note between the pages. In handwriting, it's rather clumsy. It doesn't look much different from mine. It must have been written by a child. Alexander and I sneaked into Father's laboratory. And we found something interesting. There's this weird powder. I will show you how it. I will show you how it reveals hidden writings. Know this: you have to pour the powder on the paper to reveal the ink. Alexander told me to keep some of it. 
now we can start writing coded messages interesting mother's favourite cane ok so right so that is the bottom of that bit that is that bit machine okay look books on botany and chemistry nothing I need right now these walls clearly don't want anything to go through them is there a way to get through Someone has drawn these symbols here. Does it have anything to do with demonology? Father studies? Can't work out which demons these symbols represent. I really need help. Well, there's something important up there then, isn't there? There's all kind of jars here, but nothing that will help me understand what's going on here. This game is really bloody cool, guys. I've never seen this dresser open. I think Father was hiding some important documents inside it. One of Father's most dis disconcerting hobbies, collecting keys for which there is no keyhole. Each their own, I suppose. These don't look like Mother's plants. She always liked flowers better. Someone has been looking after them, though. Well, it turns out that my dolphins can get through the door, even when it's shut. Gotta love having beagles. <laughs> right, so, where were we? I never really liked newspapers. Wait, 2nd of February 1941. No, that can't. It's been, it's been 40, 39 years. That's impossible. This is a nightmare. Different plants, different books, something is going on here. Oh, it's been forty years. I'm not going that way, clearly. I've got to define something else out first. There's more demonic writings on there to stop me going through the floor. Interesting. Let's try going this way. Can't go that way. Ben Hur, A Tale of Christ by well, Lewis Wallace. Leaving a book out of its shelf isn't in Annie's habits. It was here I fell out of this window. It was an accident, but I clearly remember falling here. Some of these pictures are a little bit weird. Oh, I'm here again, am I? Okay. Righto.
I'm a little bit lost at this point. The manor is empty, there are no signs of inhabitants. I can feel a presence, however, and it seems it was abandoned only recently. Some of the walls and the ceilings bear sigils. I've seen them before. Father used them in his study. Did he draw them? And why do they prevent me from going deeper into the manor? I might find answers on the upper floors, but first of all, I have to get through these barriers. Okay. So I can't get through any of those bits. Right. Okie dokie then. So I need to find a way to get through the barriers. to the end. I should be able to go down. Annie and I often try to spawn father in his office through these floorboards, but I'm too worried to, but I'm too worried to try that now. Oh damn it. Should be able to just go down. Be the ideal world. There's nothing there to go down into there. Hello, what's this? Why would anyone hide the Virgin Mary behind lock and key? I bet it's possessed an object and now she's able to move it or use it to combine it with another. On the other hand, as an object, Abigail gains a foothold in the world of living and has to accept its rules. No object can cross a ball. Okay. So I can't cross walls. That's fine. that? Oh, so there's me playing around with it and it turns out it's something behind it all along. Some accounting, invoices, deeds of property. And what's this? Registration. 
district, death in the sub-district of Cam Coventry North East, in the metropolitan borough of Coventry, 29th of October 1939. Oh, so it's the father died of lung cancer at the age of 76. It's impossible, I can't believe it. He was 76, but how? What happened to me? What, what about my mother and Annie? 1939, my last memory is date back to 1902. This must be a bad dream. So much of this doesn't make any sense. I need to understand what's going on. Father's office. He must have taken notes. Maybe his research can help me. Have you ever heard of the story of Icarus who flew too close to the sun? Let me tell you our version of that ancient story. A man who thought himself a great alchemist, a master of the elements of nature, found an old forgotten grimoire that would teach him to summon demons and command them to carry out whatever he wanted. Now this man gained his power by following the lead of those before him. That is to say, he had used the results from experiments performed by other masters to appear wise to those around him. However, while he was good at applying that which he learned from others, his ability to think on his feet and to reason was lacking. This man loved a woman whom he had never spoken to. He watched her from afar, admiring her beauty and dreaming of what it would be like if, he, if she was his wife. He spent so much time in the world of fantasy, where she was his, that his obsession had started to take toll on him. He couldn't sleep, eat, and became isolated from his friends. The direction in the book was clearly laid out, and because of his adeptness at following instructions in his alchemical manuals, he thought he would master demons as quickly as he mastered alchemy. Out of desperation for his for this woman, he summoned a demon named Beleth, who it was said who could create a love between a man and a woman. Sensing his desperation, the demon came to his summons, and the man was sure that it was his skill that brought Beleth to him so quickly. He commanded the demon to bring his love to him with haste and without harm befalling her. The demon laughed, saying it was an easy task, as the woman felt the same way as the man but he would require a single action from the man to ensure success. Ecstatic, the man agreed to do whatever Beleth needed to accomplish the task. The demon dictated a love letter to him, telling him to send it to his love on a specific date using the exact words he gave him. After the man dismissed the demon, he immediately wrote that letter Beleth had dictated to him, word for word, and set it aside, waiting for the appointed day to mail his note. When the day came to mail the letter, his love went to a spiritualist to speak to her beloved mother, who had passed when she was young. When the medium called the spirit of the mother, Beleth came in disguise and told her of the letter she would receive, told her that a man who wrote it was a necromancer and meant to do her family harm. Knowing exactly what the man had written, Beleth easily scared off the man's love and destroying his reputation in the process. Just like Icarus, his overconfidence had destroyed him. However, we can learn one more lesson. Without the ability to reason, to create and innovate, a master is not a master. Never take what you read or see at face value, and that includes anything and everything I write to you. Interesting. Okay. No. Books about magic? Not a, not a science I'm familiar with. This one looks different. The building and renovation of churches. I think I remember hearing about a chapel in the woods near the manor. Father may not have been fond of horses, but this statuette is gorgeous. But I don't remember it either. There's a massive book on the shelf. It must be important. I might be somewhat altered, but even so, there's no way I can read that book without finding a way to get into that showcase. There's only this light to illuminate this whole room, and it's also dark and oppressive. <laughs> Mother, since you won't listen to reason, I must stop you myself. I apologise for stealing your notes, but I see no other way. Gabriel may be the oldest, but he has no idea what you're up to. I will be back for young Edward and Robert. 
I forbid you from trying anything with them, or you may dearly regret it. This has all gone on long enough. Farewell, A. Must be Alexander. Pencils, notebooks, newspapers. I don't recognise father's handwriting in this notebook. Writing a journal has never been interesting, never interested me up to now, but these past few days have felt like I needed for it. Okay, these notes very detailed about rituals, formulas, personalities of each entity, strengths and weaknesses have difficulties believing they really exist. However, father's studies are so thorough and precise that I'm beginning to have doubts. I got there's so much here. Oak Marsh is now empty. I have a ghost town at my door. Go Goetia isn't a discreet art. And I suppose the last rituals convinced the bravest of them to leave, leave their homes. Let them go. I don't need their idiotic prejudices. When our enemies will be at our doors, at least I will have something to welcome them with. Gabrielle, my sweet Gabrielle. I was sure you'd understand. I love you so much. Robert Edward, I hope you'll understand the importance of this quest. There is no hope left. I won't be here when these disgusting invaders arrive, but let them try to get close to my... something. They will regret it. Come and colonise Oak Marsh. See what I care. None of these short-sighted villagers supported me when I needed it. They don't deserve to be remembered. But if they come inside Blackwood Manor, I will remain. I will rain hell to, down hell on them. Thank you, Anton, Elias, and Paston, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Everything will be soon. Everyone will soon be ready. I won't be here to see the world crumble. You don't look as arrogant and mocking as before, Malthus. Don't worry. I'm not heartless. You won't be alone. A few friends will join you. The spell is sealed. Abigail, please wait for me. Hear me, hear me, heed my call. Shit. Righto. That's the white powder. I hollowed skull, one of Mother's eccentricities. I hope it must have been, must have come from the upstairs library. He used to hide in this wardrobe, and he never found me in here. The pen is mightier than the sword, and treasures do hide in the written word. I should try to remember this. Can't go that way. Okay. Feathers. What the frick? Must be a demon. Oh, come now, you wound me. We are already acquainted, of course. It, m it was some time ago, and you may not have even seen that I was there. I am the one. I am one of the kind your father did so love to talk about, even if he elected not to teach you much about me in particular. My current form, shall we say, should be something of a hint. You're one of the demons that father was studying. A raven? You must be Malthus. But demon demons don't exist. 
It's just an unpleasant hobby of his. I suppose you must be right, after all, that would be simply absurd. Not unlike being in believing in ghosts, perhaps. I must say, I'm rather surprised to see you here right now. No matter. I'm almost flattered you recognised me. It means that mankind has not quite forgotten about me yet. Not completely, at least. What do you want? What do I want? Oh, I see. Abram must have taught you that I would require a favour if you were so impertinent to summon me. But in your case, young lady, I chose to appear for all you. You did not summon me, and thus we can dispense with the quid pro quo. I suppose I simply wanted to, well, chirp with someone, perhaps. Chirp? Fine. But what are you doing here? Ha-ha! Now that is quite an interesting question. Would that I could answer it. You mean you don't know? Not exactly. I do recall that I was summoned, but in a most unusual way, Annie. She called me, and I chirped, and we chirped for a time. But she deceived me, and trapped me within these walls. All I know is that some part of me remained in the cosy confines of hell, while the remainder is, is the manor itself. Or something like that. Like when I possess an object. It does indeed seem to uh, seem that the same forces are at work here. And why are you preventing me from going any further? I am doing nothing of the sort, or rather, not consciously. You see, my girl, we are both pure spirits here, and it seems that our ancestors cannot collaborate, shall we say. I promise you I'd simply love for you to proceed. I dare say that you are the only one that can free me. The sigil on the ceiling. Could it be a hint, an answer? Ah, such a keen mind. If it is not the answer itself, it must be some part of it. My sigil is not complete in this form. It cannot be seen by man, much to my immense sorrow. The sigil you see only represents half of my being, the part that remains in hell. There is another sigil. In fact, it is the opposite of this one. It represents the part of me that is trapped here, among the living. Should you manage to find and decipher it, I would be free to leave this world. I knew you wanted something after all. Exposed, yes. And it seems we both need each other. I expect that I can rely on you and you have blackwood blood running through your veins, after all. If you'll pardon the expression. Wait, you... He disappeared. Not quite. Do keep up the good work, Abigail. Simply forget that I'm watching your every move. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave that one here for today. If you have any questions feel free to comment below um let me know what you think so far and uh leave a like if you liked it. it you know it helps out a lot and i will see you in the next video bye bye